What's up, everybody? It's me, Indy Bob Bat Luke Pants. Uh, it is October 1st, 2024, 3 1 p.m. And uh, we're, I, 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 despite with the clock here on the Wii menu says, um, I, I have the I have the Wii men I have the Wii menu out here um, and, a, and a brand new Wiimote because I need it for this particular occasion uh, because it's the spooky season and there's no better way for me to ring in the spooky season that I can think of uh, than to play to bring over a, a, a time honored uh, Halloween tradition of mine over to YouTube at long last and it starts with these four games right here this row of games right here and uh, we start with Castlevania for the NES released in 1987 by Konami in their heyday let's first start. This game, I love this game. It's a, it's a, damn great game. Fucking favorite of mine. Uh, I didn't obviously didn't play it growing up, but I played on on uh, on emulator back in the day. Also, uh, Wii menu. Yeah, look at that bat. Look at that bat. Home menu is basically just uh, allows you to uh, also act as like a restore point, a save point. Because uh, back then, before the Wii Virtual Console, we didn't have those. Uh, or the Wii U Virtual Console, we didn't quite have a uh, uh, restore points as we know them now. Um, just going over to here, the button, so I don't have to tell you them um, as we play. Even though it's pretty simple, um, yeah, this game, this game is fantastic. I, I used to play the hell out of this game, like back on emulator when I first discovered it, like back in like 2013, 14, something like that. Um, quite a while back, and uh, it's my favorite game in the series, next to Castlevania 4, uh, which is also a damn fun game. Uh, it's it's it, they're tied as my favorite Castlevania game, but uh, but let let's 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 show and not have to tell too much. Well, we'll probably do some singing too. But uh, let's 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 enjoy this this the beginning of this wonderful game. Push start. Oh shit! Castlevania, this is quite a game to be playing. Simon Belmont, what a lovely name to be saying. This is Transylvania. To be understood, you must whip a good. Zombies, pets, and bats come to you a mess trying to kick your ass. Grab all the hearts, cause they serve as your ammo. Axes and daggers, but far more effective as high water. It's so stunning, aren't we cunning? Watch it explode. You deep player, boss destroyer, Castlevania. This is quite a game to be playing. Simon Belmont, what a loving name to be saying. Grandpa Trevor would say, Take the easy route and your work's cut out But I don't have a choice Cause in these ages we had six ages But when my health's low, well I just grab a pork chop This ain't New York slop and there are no pork shops I'll eat with my hands Fix these health scars, six more health bars, bury my foes Deep in peat moss, just like beef floss Okay, so that's <laughs> Oh yeah, but yeah, anyway uh, as you may tell, uh, I was influenced heavily by, uh, to, to actually, I was inspired and influenced heavily by, by, uh, people who have played this game to actually play this game. Ooh, stopwatch. Uh, up B, up and B is to do your, uh, sub-weapons up at the top there. Uh, it does consume hearts, because, as they are your ammo, and these guys will pretty much endlessly respawn if we just chill here, so just clear them out, then go up the stairs, because they can hurt us while we're on the stairs. Um, can't believe I got hit by a panther. Those panthers never, like, never ever show up ever again, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah. The cross there, basically a screen nuke. Nice little, nice little screen nuke there. Um, yeah. Uh, uh angry, angry video game nerd. Uh, for one thing, uh, <laughs> and his Halloween, his uh, Castlevania videos are something of also of a Halloween tradition of mine. Uh, as is playing these games once per, one once per October, which I'll get to. Oh, get that money. These bats are annoying too, but these so are the mermen, to a, to a lesser extent, at least at least in this game. Okay, just gotta be careful. Just gotta outrun them. Uh, but yeah, Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, Nintendo Capri Suns playthrough, which is the song you just heard <laughs> heard me sing. Um, get, ah, come on, well, at least he fell. All we gotta do is kneel here, and there goes the money. Ah, show me the money! Show me Jerry Maguire! Ah, oh, the money's gone, damn it. Oh well, we don't need it. You know it's there. <laughs> we don't have to collect it, but damn it. Those fucking mermen slew me down. This will, this will not go unpunished. At least I got the money back there. <laughs> I can just basically grind. Just run back and forth for 100 points, but I would lose time. That's the penalty. Oh, God. We can also jump back down there if we want. Uh, actually, I wonder if we could. Just for the sake of it. Well, we're going to run out of time, but fuck it. I'm going to test this out. In that wall there, to the le left side of that wall, is some uh, wall meat, which restores six more health bars. Bury my, bury the, six, fix these health guards, six more health bars. Bury my foes, you know? Ah, it doesn't. Ah, that's lame. No! And I'm gonna pay for it now too. 
I guess he's just gone now. Oh well. Handicapped ourselves. Oh, use a stopwatch and exit. Because up and B. But yeah, Angry Vega Nerd, Nintendo Capri Suns played through this back in the day, which inspired me to uh, go on to beat this game without safe states. Uh, John Shots played through this back in the day, back in, uh, back when he co hosted Game Grumps. Uh, his playthrough of this, uh, also did that, did that too. And to a lesser extent, overall, invincibility, definitely could use that. Uh, I think one of these is the axe, if I could just hit it! There we go. Uh, Eager after his sequelitis, uh, specific, specific, specifically the first one. Um, yeah. As for my own, as for my own history with this game. Can I grab that too late? Only we could use that on the bat up there, that's the, that's the boss. But, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, as for my own history with this game, uh, I beat this game for the first time back in the day, uh, with save states. Grab this for- had to have more projectiles on the screen at a time. Make this- make short work of this boss, which is cake! Cake. Just, just get him! Yeah, hit him with that- oh! Long shot, and my axe! Oh, fuck! He's zooming in. Ooh. Oh, oh, man, look at that. Look how good I am. Get that orb! The orb! Yeah! Alright, first stage down! Woohoo! Could've been better, could've been worse. Yeah! <laughs> Floating in the air. All these hearts, man. But yeah. Um, yeah, first time I played this game was with save states uh, on emulator. The second time I did it without save states, just to see if I could do it, and I did it. Um, third time I was when I bought these games on Wii Virtual Console, uh, back before it shut down, sadly. Oh man, did, and, and now, this, now the soundtrack's a lot more low-key compared to the first bombastic theme, which, I, which is pretty cool. Gives you a bit of calm. Gives you time to settle in. Break this wall, you get a little secret. This is the first secret I ever found in this game. There's another one a little later on that I think I might have found by accident back when I back during one of my playthroughs of this. That bass is waiting. That bass is waiting to zoom over. Nope. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talk about it. You know, you didn't really need that, but I'll, I'll take it. Could help on our way. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, um, yeah, third time was uh, without save states. Uh, right, well, definitely without save states because it was, it was the Wii Virtual Console, and there's only one way to really save state, and that's this way. So will restore your point uh, next time you jump into this. We don't need that heart. It's, it's an inopportune, inopportune spot, and that's that guy. That that guy can have that pit for all I care. Oh, that was close. Thank God, those guys only take like two hits with the with the upgraded whip. But yeah, um, fourth time I beat this um, was uh, I went back to just run through this game just to see because I felt like I was confident enough, like I was good enough at the game to actually try to beat it, uh, like in a timely manner. Oh man, the Medusa heads. The iconic, infamous Medusa heads of doom! Ah, damn. It got me once. That's all it'll get me for, I hope. Damn, we got the knife. Knife sucks. Knife, da dagger's like the worst sub-weapon. This is the one I was talking about, by the way. Stand here for a bit. Now I'll pop up. I think I just- I think I was just waiting for that guy to, like, move to a different spot. Like, away from here. Just so I could, uh, get through and... I guess he's just gone now! <laughs> Must have despawned him somehow. But yeah, uh... Yeah, you just stand there and you it, that'll just spawn off to the right. I'm gonna try to see if I can find ever not not every secret, but I'll do my best to find what I can. This part can be tricky too because of the pits. This part is the pits as a result. Ah, oh, I didn't quite hit it. Didn't quite hit it again. There we go, money. <laughs> there we go. They only show. Thankfully, those Medusas only show up in like certain spots uh, of the screen. Uh, there should be meat up on that up on that over there. But I'm gonna try to see if I can go without. Uh, See if I can go. How long I can go with? How long I can go without the meats? We had the meats. <laughs> um, yeah, almost got me. But yeah, um, yeah. Fourth time I did. I did it just to see if I could do it. Uh, like, like, pretty much for one for playthrough purposes to like see how long I could. Uh, how long it would take me for. Uh, how long it would take me for for me to actually beat like on average. It took about two hours. I, I mostly did it just, just to see how, like, how long a playthrough on average would add, would last, like for a, a YouTube playthrough, in particular. Like eventual YouTube playthrough purposes. And then they show up back there again too. This is the third section. Every every stage has like, every overall stage has like three different like stages, as it were. Um, there's six stages in the game, 18 overall if you count the if you go by the stages up on the top right there. But uh, basically just six overall like levels. Um, this part's a bit tricky here, too. Can be a bit tricky. If you're not completely careful. Oh, come on! I was just trying to get the fucking candle, then! It's like it's- it's laughing at you. That sounds like the game is laughing at you. Like, <laughs> It sounds like a laugh. 
My hitbox is gonna be pretty iffy, as you as, as you may have just seen. But yeah, first step to the fucking crusher, man. How could it, how could it do this? Because Simon is a, is a bit of a tall man. And you want to make sure that you go with the right timing, old oh, baby. That one can, that one used to trip me. It would kind of trip me up at times too. There we go. All good. No problem. That part's like not rough at all, honestly. But sometimes you you just end up fucking up, and that bad just just ate shit, man. Mrs. Mark. And those guys, those fucking bone dragons of doom. Just be chilling, just spin, spin that fire. Oh. Well, all you gotta do is just hit him like six times. Well, of course, that's assuming you've upgraded your whip. And you can also hit the fireballs, if need be. Oh! Usually shoots up to like two, maybe three times. Come on, man! Although, it takes timing for you to also hit the fireballs, and that ghost is gonna come back, bite my ass, haunt my ass. I don't think so, man. See ya! One last hallway before the before the boss. We fought Medusa heads, so who's to say we can't fight Medusa herself? We just gotta be careful. I think if we stand here. No oh boy. I don't know if I, I don't even know if I should try. There's a secret around here. Can you go back? We don't even have a sub weapon. Shit. Now you gonna try it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> this this hallway's too fucking volatile, man. I can't handle this shit. Let's hope I can do it without without any sub weapons. Cause right here, this is pretty much the end. I'm gonna have to. I'm just gonna have to wail on him. All right, Medusa. Shit. It's over, man. I'm losing. Got to duck down. Get the get the snakes of doom down there. The toilet paper rolls of doom. Come on. Oh, it's gonna come down to it. Ooh, one hit. Yeah. Oh man, that was close. <laughs> that was a lot closer than it usually is. <laughs> Which is like not at all. But yeah, fourth playthrough was basically just get a gauge of time as to how, like for playthrough purposes, how long it would take for me to beat. And uh, I was pretty good at the game at the time. I'm okay right now. It's been a bit. Um, fifth playthrough. Um, <laughs> fifth playthrough was a trip. I'll, 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 I'll tell that story in a bit. But uh, it, 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 essentially, it's uh, it was a relay sort of thing where me, Bomb, and Saw would take turns playing playing through this game, like alternating between stages. Uh, Bomb would have stage one and four. I would have stage two and five. And uh, Saw would have stage three and six. Oh man! Introducing the Flea Man, the most annoying Castlevania enemy, because he likes to jump around and just be a nuisance. But we got him. And we got Holy Water, so let's see if we can hold on to that. I'm gonna just wait here. He's gonna jump to me. Yeah, take that shit, bitch. Yeah. One of these platforms has meat in it, but I'm gonna refrain from doing it if I, for, as, for as long as possible if I can. Oh, fucking turned around. Wasn't even trying to. My thumb just having to press the down button too much, and those skull, the skull, the skull, skull tans can be pretty annoying too if you let them, if you let them just throw bones at you all the time. This song fucking goes in, dude. I love it. Easily one of the best Castlevania tracks of all time. Fucking crows. Crows used to be like, crows can be like the either the most inconsequential enemy or the most annoying enemy, but in this game they're pretty in inconsequential by other game standards. They really only, oh fuck you! I was about to say they only fight horizontally until they do that shit. They like swoop down every now and again just to do that. Sh oh wait, <laughs> rip! Oh man, I'm not. I, I I can only hope that that holy water is meant to spawn there all the time. Cause I can really use that holy water like all, right about always. There we go. Fuck! Oh, that was close. Come on, fleet man! Oh sweet, he spawned him just before you jumped. That's one way to get rid of him. Hell yeah, dude! Come on, buddy. Yeah. Fucking flea man, man. This time I'll get you! Yeah! Now I got you! Yeah, the, 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 the it was basically just- Oh man, here, the, here come the bones! Roll them bones! Let's go before he gets me! And then he's gonna get me! Oh my god! <laughs> but yeah, uh, fifth uh, playthrough of my- uh, Playthrough of me playing this game was- Oh boy, fuck. At least they only die in one hit. Dude, hell fucking yeah! That's how you that's how you do it, man. Holy water for the win. Oh boy. Just don't blow it. Actually just yeah. Oh, what a fool. <laughs> I think if we go stand here. There we go. Money! I don't need the heart. I need money. Well, I, I like both personally. Check this out. Yeah! Practical use right there. Also, making good use of the holy water right here. Now let's, now let's make good use of not getting hit, yeah? <laughs> I've only died once so far. Well, twice, actually. 
Uh, we got a one-up a little bit ago because we got 30,000 points, and those are gonna be useful. There's not many one-up pickups to find in this game. In fact, they're really rather rare. There's only one to find, and it's, it's through a secret. So let's hope we can find it this time. Because I did some research on the secrets beforehand. But yeah, fifth playthrough was basically just a relay race sort of thing where, oh man, dude, that was close. I, well, I still got hit, but never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, me, me, Bob, and Saw would take turns through the stages. Ah, I actually kind of want to keep that. Right there. There we go. Remembering all these from when I looked at them earlier. You know, at the sec- Oh, well, I got him anyway. Didn't even need the stopwatch. But stopwatch is very useful. Just gotta make sure I hit those guys good enough. Just to deal with them. There we go. Those ones take- f Oh, wait. As long as you time it well, you can hit the fireballs. Yeah, the, the stopwatch takes five hearts to use. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that relay was a wild ride. Uh, sixth playthrough was when I got this game on, uh, uh, was when I played this game on the Castlevania collection on Switch, the anniversary collection. Uh, and it was the first game I played on there, because because of course it was. Oh, come on. Here, here's a thought. <laughs> I'm like, I have like no hits left. I better, I might as well use it. Shit. Oh, boy. Oh, that'll help. That'll help. Oh, kneel, kneel down an accent. Nope. Nope. Oh boy. <laughs> and here comes the castle. Here, here comes the Castlevania Dracula's chamber. Can the chamber slip me off? Hit him. Oh baby. I'm not gonna get the meat, but I am gonna do this. Walk into this wall. <laughs> Money that you can't get. What an insult, man. Oh boy. Stay away from me. Oh boy. Nah. None of that. Uh, there's meat up on- oh fuck. <laughs> on one of these platforms. But, uh, you know, fuck it, we'll pay the price. I don't need it. I'm paying for it! Yeah, oh, there it goes. <laughs> Mummies ain't that hard anyway. But, like, okay, no, that's gonna be extra hard, because we, uh, we're powered down. Now like, the meat would've made that much of a difference. Oh fuck. Should've waited. Yeah. Yeah, stage two can be a bit of a nuisance, if you're not completely prepared. But I consider where I consider stage four is when it starts to get really hard, like uh, like legitimately very hard, like frustratingly so. And uh, Bomb will attest to that. <laughs> he spent like so much of the power hour there. Basically, it was just a, that fifth playthrough was basically just like a power hour of a uh, damn, I'm fucking up. Basically, just a uh, us just like listening to like '90s music, like while drinking drinks, alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Myself, non-alcoholic, because I don't drink. Fuck. Press too late. Scratch my nose. But, um, yeah. Uh, six playthrough was when I bit. After that was the sixth playthrough. Just duck. Just let him, yeah, just let him, let him try to poop on your, on your hair. But he ain't gonna. Alright. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Doesn't help though we had the baby whip. It's more powerful, but it ain't got range for shit. Oh, come on. Fucking crows be annoying sometimes. Definitely so in the later games. Yeah, it was because uh, uh, this game was my favorite one, so I, of course I played this one first on the anniversary collection. Uh, and then this is the seventh one. This marks the seventh one. Um, in regards to the tradition that I uphold, <laughs> well, how about that? Once again, might as well just reveal the secret. Have a rub on our face. Let's we'll see if we let's see if we fare better this time with our last life. Oh boy! Ah, well, <laughs> they basically share the same share the same health bar. I was kind of expecting to get a game over on the first, on the on the on the third stage, if not the fourth. Um, but yeah, thankfully you get unlimited continues, so we can do that a lot better. Um, but yeah, I guess while we make our way back up here, I'll tell the story with a lot more clarity, hopefully, I'm less stuttering. Um, yeah, so basically my history with Castlevania is just all those all those playthroughs and uh, this one. So yeah, at least with the first game. Uh, in regards to the tradition, there we go. In regards to the tradition at hand. Um, yeah, every I, I basically just try to play a Castlevania game once every October, um, in release order, and at least for the classic series. Um, in 2017, it was with this game. Uh, in 2018, it was with Simon's Quest, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Fuck, shouldn't have, shouldn't have done that. Should have gone, shouldn't have stood there. And I got the bad ending on the, or not the bad ending, but the normal ending, because uh, mostly because I misread the guide um, that I had. Yes, <laughs> dude, I'm so good. I'm good. When I'm good, I'm good. But don't pay attention to the parts where I'm not good. Oh, that was close. <laughs> oh, come on! Uh, that's what happens when you don't quite make the jump. 
<laughs> Should've used the stairs, man. I should've made that save state. Should've made that save state. <laughs> Sweet, he spawned him again. I don't know how I do that, but yeah, it just happens. Um, but yeah. Um, let's try it again. Boop. Nice. I'm pretty good at avoiding them so far. So far, quote, quote unquote. Yeah, Castlevania 2, I wanted to, I, 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 when I, when I got the normal ending in Castlevania 2 that year, I wanted to, I decided, I, I, I promised myself that I would go back at some point to, uh, oh, come on, at some point to try and, uh, uh get the, nor the best ending, uh, at a later date, so, uh, I would end up doing that later on, like, two years later, but, uh, before that, I ended up having to play through fucking Castlevania 3 in 2019. <laughs> And uh, that 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 game was too. Fu I'm honestly dreading uh, when I have to play that uh, for for the channel at some point because that game's too fucking hard, man. Uh, but then Castle 4, Castlevania 4 came around, and uh, that was a much more fun experience, much more rewarding, more fun. Uh, just my, it, it, like I said, titled my favorite uh, Castlevania game with this one. Uh, that played that in 2020, and I had I beat it so quickly that I had the whole latter half of the of October left that year that I decided to. Uh, that I decided to uh, go back through uh, Castlevania 2 and uh, try to beat and beat it uh, with the best ending that time. That was nice. Oh man, look at me go! I'm on fire now. No hits taken, baby. We're doing it. Oh wait, just don't fall down. Just don't walk down the stairs again. Stand here, kneel here, rather. Money appears right there. We're good. We're golden, man. We got this, man. We got this by the ass. Nope. Nope. You don't always want to mash too, you kind of want to get a bit of a timing down for it too. One, two. It's a rhythm. Those guys take six hits, they drop and fire two fireballs usually. Yo, we got this, man. But yeah, uh, 2020 was when I got, was when I basically completed all the, uh, all the virtual console ones that I had. Essentially the classic, uh, quadrilogy. Um, and, uh, that was a fun time. Grand time. It's all about timing. Three, four, five, six. There we go. Six. You got six. Those guys take timing too. A lot of focus going on here. Sweet. It's how much better you think you play when you just, when you just, oh boy. Oh, <laughs> I almost ate my own words. So niche. We got, the, we got the hearts. Might as well. Just make sure we don't accidentally grab the dagger. I ain't gonna help. You going? Oh, there we go. Sweet. Ah, fuck. Do it. Okay, just don't hit that one. Grab this. <laughs> or pretend to grab it. Um, yeah, 2021, uh, I went and played, uh, went on to play uh, the, what's it called? The Castlevania Dr uh, Dracula X uh, Chronicles on PSP uh, on my PS Vita um, and play far enough to get the Rondo of Blood. Uh, playable version of Rondo of Blood to play on there. Beat that. Accidentally got the best ending for that. Um, then decided I had enough time in the month left to play uh, the original Dracula X, like whatever was left of it. Uh, played that, and um, I accidentally got the bad ending for that one too. Um, but it still counts as me beating it. Um, I'm just gonna hit one of these. Hope it's not the dagger. There we go. Because I think that one up there is. Alright, let's hope we got this. It should work on these guys. No, don't. Yeah, I don't work on like the first two bosses. But we can get them both at the same time. Oh wait! Get away! Oh, it's fucked. Oh, fuck, it fucked up. Damn it. <laughs> well, it was a great it was a great start, and then we fucked flubbed it up. Same timing pretty much with the uh with the crows here, but it's a little more a little more range. Oh fuck you. Just gotta get a little closer, is all. Shit. I'm trying to make it so I can so I can aggro that crow and make him despawn. At least hurt it in such a way that I can make him despawn for life. Shouldn't have gotten hit by these fucking deuces. Oh! Ah, crap. No, no biggie. Oh boy. It might be a biggie. Ah, well, it's the, best, it's the best we got. Go, go, go. It's the fucking toilet papers. Ah, crap. I can do it though. <laughs> But yeah, in 2022, I played uh, Castlevania Bloodlines um, on the collection. Once I had, once I had bought the collection, which is when I, around when I bought the collection. Also, sweet. Yeah, there we go. We can avoid the crows better this way. 
Yeah, fuck you, man. Unfortunately, I didn't get that guy, but it's fine. We just gotta whip him. Whip him real good. Do, 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 Whip this motherfucker, too. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, fuck you. It's cool. Oh, nice. Got him, too. Let's look at this. And I think I might have a better chance this time, I hope. He's gonna throw it! <laughs> I'm just get him both. Kill them both! Yeah, double the help. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's good. Oh, we got him. Yeah! Told you. Told you I get it. But yeah, uh, 2022. Oh, uh, yeah, 2022. I might as well finish the story before we head on. Uh, 2022, I beat the um, fucking uh, Castlevania Bloodlines. That was fun. Then 2023, ended up uh, beating, um, uh, playing and beating Symphony of the Night on my PS3. And uh, that was a grand time. And uh, that basically wrapped up the classic Ca Castlevania series. Uh, for me, in terms of like the whole marathon tradition type thing, um, and that was that was that was a grand grand fun time, and I enjoyed it. And uh, I'm not sure if I'll play a Castlevania game uh, this year for the for the old tradition since I'm bringing it over here to YouTube. But <laughs> honestly, th th there's no there's not going to be any shortage of Castlevania games uh, at all for me. Oh, I lost my whip. <laughs> I dropped it, man. Throw me the whip. Give me the whip. I dropped it, man. Give me the whip. Oh, dude, that gave me a one up. That thirty thousand points. At least it should have.